seven things rich, successful people do before bed that you can do too. Much has been said about the benefits of being an early riser. Benjamin Franklin, the original guru of productivity, said, Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. However, not much is said about the last thing you do before bed. Yet, the very last thing you do before bed is vital because it determines how well and how much you sleep, which in turn determines your energy level the following day when you wake up. Rich people understand that the importance of a good night's sleep. Rich people understand the importance of a good night's sleep. They have well-established sleep rituals that signal to their brains that it's time to switch everything off and get some much-needed rest tonight. Here's what the most successful and rich people do before bed. You should probably emulate. They stretch and exercise lightly. The CEO of Buffer, Joel Gasconi, squeezes in a 20-minute walk every evening before he retires to bed. He says the light walk helps to keep him totally disengaged from his work and slowly work himself into a state of tiredness. He explains in his blog post, This is a wind-down period, and it allows me to evaluate the day's work Think about the greater challenges. Gradually stop thinking about work. If you are a busy person who's always on the go, tiredness, fatigue, and even leg cramping can be painful enough to make it hard for you to sleep. Joel's late night walk routine could be a good way to get rid of those cramps, blowing off some steam and unwind after a stressful day. Science has actually shown that fresh air and light exercise, light brisk walking, Stretching and gentle yoga postures for several minutes just before get, uh, going getting to bed helps induce sleep. However, avoid vigorous exercise at night as it can have the opposite effect and cause insomnia. Number two, they take warm baths. Many of us take a warm shower before bed, probably a couple hours leeway at least. But some of the most successful people take a warm bath instead. Joyce Walzenben, Ph.D., Associate Professor at New York University School of Medicine, is one such person. She says you should soak in a tub for 20 to 30 minutes, two hours before bed. If you raise your temperature a degree or two with a bath, the steeper drop at bedtime is more likely to put you in a deep sleep. Joyce says a shower is less effective and tends to wake you up, but it, it can work as well. The nighttime ritual of taking a warm bath before bed has also worked well for an intentionally acclaimed fashion designer and film director Tom Ford. Tom shared his uh, day's schedule with Harper Bazaar and said, I walk the dog around Governor's Square and then head up to bed. Believe it or not, I take another bath and wash my face. Then we watch a bit of television, usually things we've recorded or read, and, and we go to sleep. Number three, they read a book. Tom Ford is not the only one who reads before bed. Bill Gates is an avid reader. He says he read for about an hour each night before bed and has seen the benefits of doing so. I really had a lot of dreams when I was a kid, and I think a great deal of that grew out of the fact that I had a chance to read a lot. Gates is quoted saying, interestingly, the Microsoft billionaire reads everything from current events to business and politics. Apart from the obvious benefits of gaining new knowledge, reading each night helps to reduce and stress and improve memory. In fact, a study from the University of Essex found that reading for as little as six minutes a day can reduce stress levels up to about 68%. They meditate. Ray Diallo, the billionaire founder of the investment firm Bridgewater Associates, famously said, Meditation more than anything in my life was the biggest ingredient of whatever success I've had. Oprah Winfrey an outspoken advocate of 
Transcendental Meditation agrees what meditation helps and says she unwinds at the end of a stressful day with a focused meditation session. Pan Mazuri Warrior the Chief Technology and Strategy Officer of Cisco Systems of Cisco Systems also meditates every night. She told the New York Times in 2012 that taking time to meditate and unplug keeps her calm and helps her to manage the pressure and to help boy. She told the New York Times in 2012 that taking time to meditate and unplug keeps her calm and helps her to manage and She told the New York Times in 2012 that taking time to meditate and unplug keeps her calm and helps her to manage the pressure of her work. Those who take a few minutes every night to reflect on the good things that happened to them that day sleep better. The flow of positivity and grateful attitude induces feelings of calm and allow for a restful sleep. Number five, they plan the next day. Many highly successful and rich people have a penchant for picturing tomorrow's success and planning for it. They write down the most important things they need to tackle first as a way of getting those ideas out of their heads. Often this planning for tomorrow happens right before bed. Kenneth Chenault, CEO of American Express, for example, ends his day by writing down three things he wants to accomplish the next day right before retiring for the night. He says that in doing so, he's able to wake up the next day and get straight to work on his most important task. You might want to borrow a leaf from this high achiever and plan the next day before bed. This is, spe this is especially true if you have often find yourself running through the day, uh, running through the next day to-do list while you're trying to fall asleep. Number six, they create a cozy sleep environment. Stephen King, one of the richest and most successful authors alive, says he nightly, says his nightly routines says his nightly routines include washing his hands, making sure all the pillows face a certain way. The horror writer says it's not any different than a bedtime routine, he explains. I brush my teeth, I wash my hands. Why would anybody wash their hands before they go to bed? I don't know. And the pillow are supposed to be pointed a certain way. The open side of the pillowcase is supposed to be pointed in toward the other side of the bed. I don't know why. Making your bedroom as comfortable as possible for you is a great way to ensure you sleep soundly and wake up in the morning, well rested and ready to face your day. The rich and famous go to great lengths to ensure the sleep are as cozy as possible so as to induce and maintain sleep. And finally, number seven, they unplug. Ariana Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post, is a staunch evangelist for sleeping and unplugging. She says every night before bed, she puts her phone in another room so she is not distracted by it. Like Tom Ford and Bill Gates, Ariana said she reads before bed the old-fashioned way. Real book. Facebook's chief operating officer, COO, Sheryl Sandberg, also says she turns her phone off at night so that she won't get woken up. Dr. Charles Schleisler professor of sleep medicine at Harvard University agrees that unplugging is a very good habit before bed. He explains that the bright light produced by cell phone screens trick the body into thinking it's still daytime, prevent certain chemicals from being released, and disrupt the body's natural sleep rhythm. This disruption causes people to have a much harder time going to sleep. It's a good idea to ban iPads, tablets, laptops, and any other electronics from the bedroom before sleep so you can set yourself up to have a good night's sleep and an even more productive day tomorrow.